All right, here at home with meteorologist Daniel Graves, we've had a beautiful Saturday, lots of sunshine, a little cooler. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at for the rest of the night? Well, you know, you want the weather to stay like this all the time. <laughs> it's just perfect temperatures to me. Unfortunately, we are going to see some rain chances for Sunday. If you do plan on heading out to catch the Saints game, I may need to keep a little bit of rain gear with you because we could see some passing showers. Right now, though, we are looking at some pretty nice weather, high pressure firmly in place that brings dry air. That's why we haven't seen much in the way of cloud cover, but this cold front to the northwest will continue to dive south, and that's what's going to help increase our rain chances. Tonight, though, looking at some pretty nice weather, mostly clear sky. A few clouds will start to build back in, though, as we get into Sunday morning. As you're heading out tonight, though, a clear sky, mostly clear by 11, with temperatures still in the mid-60s. Here comes that cloud cover down from the Gulf of Mexico. will start to spread out over the area as we get into Sunday morning, uh, so temperatures won't be dropping as much. We start out this morning with some areas in the 40s, low to mid 50s on the south shore, but this time we'll be starting out mostly into the 60s. This warm air in place, then a cold front will be coming through and clashing with that, and that's where we'll start to see those rain chances increasing. You can see at 1130 a slight chance for a shower, but as this line moves through mainly as we go into the afternoon, after lunchtime and through about five o'clock is going to be our best chance at seeing some rain and some thunderstorms not out of the question. The good news is it moves through pretty quickly. Five o'clock it's down toward the coast into coastal Mississippi, and then by 7, 8 o'clock, it's out of here. We're looking at some nice weather once again, shaping up for your Sunday night and going into early Monday morning. So here's the big picture. We see this line of storms moving in. There is a potential that there is an isolated strong to severe storm possible in this, so some wind gusts, an isolated tornado, not out of the question, but I do expect uh, that severe weather threat to be mainly off toward our west. We see drier weather for Monday and then more moisture coming in and another disturbance will bring that chance for severe weather once again, mainly to our north. But as this continues to push down into our area overnight into Tuesday morning, we could once again see another isolated strong to severe storm. So your severe outlook for Sunday, that marginal risk, mainly west of the New Orleans metro area, does include parts of Tangipahoa Parish over toward the Baton Rouge area and into central Louisiana. And then getting into Monday, you notice the slight risk category. That's a level two of five where you could see a couple of more strong to severe storms going overnight Monday into Tuesday. But the biggest severe weather threat again will stay off to our north. Will just be something to watch as we go over the next several days. Beautiful shot here this evening. The Superdome lit up. You can still see some of the colors from the sunset earlier. 70 degrees right now with the wind out of the east southeast at nine. So that humidity is going to be slowly increasing. So you'll see our temperatures back into the low 80s Monday and Tuesday, along with those rain chances through early Tuesday morning. Nicer weather shaping up on Wednesday. Another front arrives Thursday. We'll bring some sunshine and some more fall-like weather as we go toward next weekend.